All right. Здравствуйте. Привет. Дурот. Салам. <laughs> how you guys doing? So today we're going to talk about how not to dominate Cruz your life or your martial arts practice or your spiritual practice. And the reason is, is because it's caused him a breakdown and he couldn't defend himself on one knee against Henry Cejudo who wasn't throwing vicious strikes and he didn't hit a guy with a tremendous reach advantage not to take anything away from Henry Cejudo who does one of the greatest back and forth straightforward games in the history of, of martial arts so Salamatim. Okay. First off, we've got to identify what the hell was Dominic Cruz looking for? Well, what he was looking for, in my humble opinion, in my observation, he was looking for a way of taking out all of the fierce anxiety of training. So why would he do this? Well, anxiety causes doubt. Because anxiety is either based from fear or it's a, a based in unknowing expectation. So why did the guys from the Caucasus Mountains, Khabib Nurmagomedov, Zabid Magami Cheripov, Hamza Chemayev, why do those guys, and then Fyodor Emelianko or Alexander Emelianko, why do these guys go in there Stoic as hell, calm as hell, and only talk enough shit to piss off the other guy. And then anytime you ever see him pissed off, they're only slightly pissed off, but they're like stupid, intensely focused, and they always use the same kind of term. They're always like, I'm going to teach this guy a lesson. Hamza Chemayev says, I'm going to beat up Conor McGregor because he hit an old man. Because they went against the ethos of their martial arts system. Okay? So, Alexander Yemelyenko is going to fight one of the Russian strongmen, right? He goes into an interview and he says, yeah, I think he's kind of stupid. I think his training sucks. I think he's... But he, he's giving all of these quasi... Um, quasi reasons condemning the guy's moral code under the surface. Why do this? Because when you're taught to be an ethical fighter, part of the reason they teach you to be an ethical fighter is to eliminate anxiety, fear, and doubt from your mind and from your body. Because anytime you have anxiety, fear, and doubt, it goes from your mind and creates doubt in your body, weakness. By doubt, I mean weakness. Because you doubt that you can do it. You doubt that you got the energy. You doubt you got the stamina. You doubt you got the power. Doubt's weird, man. Doubt can be a mirror. Doubt can be an illusion of dimensions. You can have doubt and on the surface it appears to be confident. Because you're compensating for your doubt. It's weird. So how do you eliminate that? Well, you can't have two personalities. I covered this in the Ronda Rousey video. You can't create a personality that goes in there and does the dirty work. It's got to be you. It's got to be you. Look at the fucking Soviet era, era taught fighters. You think Fyodor... Yemilya Yenko walks around. Yemilya Yenko walks around like, oh yeah, I'm going to have a fight soon, so I better put on my, okay. And then he walks around and does the Cobra Covenant to dance. Huh. Hell no. You think Habib gets out of training and is just like, Oh, I got to answer a question for Islam's fucking 
Instagram. All right. All right, brother. This is the Hulkster. I'm going to come in here and bust you and smash you. Huh. They're like, hey, what are you going to do to Conor McGregor? Bro, I smashed this guy. I smashed this guy like I smashed this other guy. I smash him, take money. Chim life, right? <laughs> you give me one hour. One hour, brother. One hour rest, I go smash the guy. That's how they train. That's how they train because that's how they spar. That's how they talk. Why do the fucking calf cost caucus mountains guys, why do they say brother all the time? Hey, brother, brother, bro, bro. That's how they talk. That's how they talk. When you speak Russian, that's how they, brat, brat, bratan, bratan, bratok, da, bratan, bratan, vse ravno, vse, vse, vse. That's how they talk, man. It's all good, brother. It's all good. All good. I smash him. You know? Vse ravno. You know, whatever. What, what is it? Patratza, patratza. Мы сделали продаться. Мы сделали подраться. Like, my Russian's bad, so I'm gonna stop it right there. <laughs> but the point is, is you gotta have a meditation. Those guys use Islam. The methods and procedures of being Muslim. It's a good technology for that. The other guys, like even Zabit, you got to find the spirituality in the martial arts. A lot of times it gets overlooked, but if you have a good teacher, it's going to be subtly installed in there. But you can't be two people. Dominic Cruz apparently was two people because he found one guy that made him feel good about himself and then forgot he's got to win fights. That's fucking crazy. The interview after his fight, he kept talking about the ref would look me in the eye. The ref would look me in the eye. The ref would look me in the eye. Okay, even if that's true, even if that's true, that's not the fucking thing you talk about when you get over a fight because that's not the thing you're fucking focused with. Fighting's dirty. Fighting's dirty. It's corrupt. It is corrupt. It's absolutely corrupt. UFC should not have taken the Boxing Association, the most corrupt organization in the world, openly, openly corrupt. You hire the referees. I mean, the fuck? You know this. So how do you defeat a corrupt organization? You knock the other guy the fuck out. And Dominic Cruz wasn't even hitting him. He wasn't hitting him because his mind was somewhere the fuck else. After the fucking, he, after he was done talking about how the guy couldn't look him in the eye, he then said, oh, well, I'm going to go to a place of responsibility and then I'm going to say how I feel. And it's nice that my face doesn't hurt. It's nice that I don't have to ice my hand and I feel money. Yeah, because that guy gave him a fucking, has been hypnotizing him to fucking think his way. His trainer, whoever the fuck that is, the wellness coach. The wellness coach who does everything is indoctrinating him into his cult. Cult can be me and you. It don't got to be 60 people. The power of suggestions works one-on-one -on -one better than it does anywhere else. <sighs> Man. How do you defeat that? Jaya! Vijaya. That's how you defeat that. You're the same person everywhere you go. Colby Covington, I bag on him a lot. You know why? First off, I don't think he's that good. Don't. I'm sorry. He comes out and he fucking throws that weapons grade jujitsu on Dorino Burns. I'll eat my words. I apologize. But one of the reasons why I don't like him is because he's two fucking people. He's whoever the real Colby Covington is and then that thing. You know? 
Kamaru Usman is the same guy everywhere he goes. I just don't think he's as strong as people think he is. I don't. I think Hamzat Chimaev is on that same in that same strength class. And he's got better technique. And he's in better shape. You don't believe me? Alright, cool. Let's watch it when they squab. Let's watch that shit when they squab. Hmm? Hmm? You're gonna see Chimaev go at the same rate the whole fight. And you're gonna see fucking Kamaru Usman wear down. Why? Because he was wearing down fighting Jorge Masvidal. And Masvidal had a fucking six day camp. So, how does Masi, though, have a six-day camp come in ready? Because it's the same fucking person. The guy you see is the guy you get. So, how do you do that? You got to be authentic. You got to be authentic. How do you practice being authentic? F say the shit you believe. I mean, you can color it any which way to... You know, make it look good for political reasons or whatever, but the more you just say the shit you believe, the more you're one person. All right, so how do you say that I'm afraid I'm afraid to fight this guy? Because uh, he's got the world's greatest kicks, and I don't want him to kick my head off. How do you say that and not look like a puss? This is how you say that. That dude's kicking arsenal is elite. It is world class. It is something I am certainly concerned with. And my game plan will address that. Boom. That's better than creating a character and being like, Oh, no one can kill me. I'm the, I'm the world's strongest man. Oh, I'm the most violent motherfucker. I'm going to break his head. You're going to watch this. I'm going to drink his blood. I'm trying to kill this man. Man, man. What happened? What happened when, uh, I forget, somebody said that, Michael Johnson. Did Michael Johnson say that to uh, Justin Gagey? I'm trying to end this man's life. Man, fuck all that bullshit. Unless you're really trying to kill somebody. They don't say that shit. I know it's the fight game. But that creates two people. It also creates anxiety. Because now that you said something that you don't believe, you got to fucking live up to it. And trying to live up to it causes anxiety. It's worrying to try to do the thing that you said. It's worrying to try to cash the check with your ass that your mouth wrote. So, how do you do it? How do you get over it? Jaya Vijaya, you're authentic. You have a clear code of ethics. You have a clear reason why you go fight. Why do you go fight? If you go fight for the money to feed your mama and dad, that's anxiety. If you go fight because you want to show your training, you want to express your training, you want to fulfill your destiny, do the thing that you're meant to do, boom, you can go in there confident. Even if you just want the placebo effect of it, just Find something, go in there and be confident. Okay, cool. But at some point, that will create a character and a character will always crumble. We saw it with Ronda Rousey. We're seeing it with fucking... And everyone else. So. So. How to have strength when you need it. very first thing is eliminate anxiety. How do you eliminate anxiety? Build confidence. How do you build confidence? You go in and you do the work. It is better to do something at 40% every day. Take two days off a month. Even if you're just in there doing fake Tai Chi the accumulation of work it's good for your mind and it's also good for your body because your body remembers it 
loves the body loves accumulation more than it loves anything else. If you just put in the steady work, it'll always be there. If you play an instrument, if you can play it slow, scripach. If I play the violin and I practice very slow, do 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 do. I do that every day for a hundred days. I can go, it's easier to play it fast. Then I can practice playing it fast. You got to put the work in your body. You got to put the work in your mind. You need to meditate. If Dominic Cruz was meditating, do you think he would fall for some five foot two dude talking about how he's a life coach? What the fuck does a champion need with a life coach? Unless he was more worried about his life and how he was living than he was worried about winning fights. Which apparently he was because he went into a championship fight and didn't hit the guy. Didn't hit the guy. Ronda Rousey went into fights as an all-time great judo artist, judo practitioner, judo whatever gold medalist a legend in combat sports stood around and got kicked just stood around and got tagged up just gotta get, get your mind right gotta get your mind right gotta chant something gotta chant something you gotta reinforce that shit it's part of being it's a hypnotic method to yourself also some chants have magic some chants work Magic's real. Magic. If magic wasn't real, then how does magic happen? Mm -hmm. I could ask every one of you, write, write a story in the description where you've seen magic be real, and everybody would have a fucking supernatural story. And it would be, like, beyond belief. You had to be there to see it. But magic's real. Magic's real. So how do you make it work on your side? You gotta be disciplined. Because if you're not disciplined, you're just slinging your magic everywhere. And what happens is what happens. And someone can use it against you. So, how not to dominant cruise yourself? You gotta build a base. Build a foundation. Go in there every day and do something. You don't go hard every day. Training's gotta be fun. You can't torture yourself. Training's gotta be therapy. And therapy's gotta be fun. You can't torture yourself. If you keep breaking yourself down then you'll just be broken. You gotta apply enough stress to grow and then you have to apply enough love to recover. But the whole thing's gotta be love or you will create a separate personality that'll go in there and do the dirty work because you can only take so much pain. And when that's the case, when that alter ego takes enough pain, It'll break.